In this video, we are exploring everything that you need to know about integrations and connections in Notion. The reason why you would want to use integrations and connections within Notion is to make your Notion system integrate with other external tools. So if you want to create automation or if you want to display link previews from Figma or Miro and all these other natively integrated software within Notion, then this is what integrations and connections are for. In this video, we will follow a clear structure composed of these points here. So first, we're going to understand why we have connections and integrations. And that is because if you want to make your Notion ecosystem integrate and speak with different tools so that everything is in one place, why at the same time you use the proper tools for the proper job, then that is why you want to use connections and integrations. Now, the second part in this video is where you can find all the connections. And this is within your Notion account. You can go to settings and members. And down here, you have a connections tab. This is where you can see all your connections, whether it be the natively integrated connection within Notion from apps such as Slack, Google Drive or Figma, as well as the bots or connections that you created yourself. In this example, we have Make or Zapier. These are connections that you need to create yourself when using those tools and connecting your account in there. So these are the two main types of connections within Notion. When it comes to native connections, these are mostly link previews or embeds that you can use within your Notion page to make it alive and also edit the documents or external software pages directly from the Notion page. And so when you use this slash command within Notion, you will see these blocks right here. And some of these blocks down below are about the integrated apps. And you can see here we have Google Maps, Figma, Abstract, InVision, Framer, Whimsical, and all these tools are natively integrated within Notion. That means you can embed them within a Notion page and they are alive in there. So that's what's an integration within Notion. Besides integration, you can also have connections and connections are more specific for creating automation or connecting tools with your Notion workspace. And this requires a bit more advanced knowledge of how automations and bots work. So an example connection that you might create is a bot that has access to your Notion database. For example, here it might have access to my deals database. And whenever there is a new web form submitted on my website, that bot will add a new deal to this database so that I can process it within Notion without worrying about going to my backend part of the website. That's what an automation is and what a connection can do for you within Notion. So to set up a connection, you can use tools such as make, make.com or Zapier or Integrately or Bardeen. And all these tools enable you to connect different apps together. And this is an overview of your connections and where you can find every connection and integration that you have within your Notion workspace. Adding a connection to your Notion workspace is not enough. When you create an automation, that bot needs to have access to the specific database or databases that you need it to have access to. And in this case, for example, if I have the make connection here and I want this bot to do some actions in my deals database, then I need to make sure that that bot has access to my deals database. And to give access to a database or a page in Notion to a connection, you can go on the three dots at the top right corner, and then you have the connection tab right here. And in here, you have a list of predefined connections that you can add. And these are mostly integration apps or automation apps here. Alternatively, you can also type your bot's name. For example, I know that my bot is called Make, and you see there is this Make with the logo that is the default connection that is part of Notion itself, and that will redirect you to the Make app landing page. Alternatively, I can add my bot, that is this one that doesn't have a logo, and it's named differently. So when I add this bot here, I can confirm it, and so this bot will now have access to my DL database and all the children pages within it. That means all these deals right here. And now I can use the ID of this database in my automation to send my lead forms automatically to this database, for example. And the ID of a database is part of the URL and it is the string of numbers between this last forward slash and the first question mark. And that is where you can find a connection and add a connection to a Notion database or page. Finally, how can you add a connection actually? So if you're creating a bot, let's say in Make or in Zapier, 
and you want to add that bot to your Notion workspace, you will need to go to connections. And when you scroll down, you have this option here that says develop or manage integrations. And when you click on this option here, this will open your entire integration page. And from this page, you can see all the connections that you already created. And they are also split between internal and public connections. So internal connections are those connections that you created only to have access to your workspace. These are private integrations. Public integrations are used to create apps built on top of Notion, for example. So think about Tally, Tally.so, or whatever app that is a tool that integrates with Notion and needs access to your Notion pages or databases. Those are public integrations or connections. So whenever you want to create an integration, you can click on Create New Integration. Then here you will have the integration name. And here you want to be as descriptive as possible so that within your Notion workspace, in the Connections tab, you can exactly understand what bot that is that you're giving it access to. Next up, you can upload an image just to recognize it. Then you can choose the associated workspace from the list right here. And here you can choose the capabilities of this connection. So by default, you will have read content, update content, and insert content selected. And you can also select read comments and insert comments, all the endpoints available in the API when it comes to content, such as database properties or content blocks within pages, whereas comments are the comments that you have in a Notion page, such as here, when I open this page, I have a comment section right here, and comments can also be left on specific blocks within Notion. And finally here, because this one that I'm creating is a public integration, it asks me for user capabilities. And this is usually an option that is not there if you're creating an internal integration, because an internal integration will only be accessible by you within your workspace. So when I submit this integration here, I will get an internal integration token. And this is very important, and you don't wanna show it to anyone. When you connect your Notion workspace to Zapier or to Make, you wanna copy this integration token and then paste it in the authentication flow that they ask you. And once you do that, your account will be connected and your bot will show up within your workspace whenever you go to connections, and then you can add your bot from your connections tab. And really that is how you add a connection. And that is the end of the overview of integrations and connections within Notion, which are powerful features that can enable you to expand your capabilities and workflows connecting Notion with other apps. We explored how to find connections, that is from the settings and members tab at the top left corner of your sidebar menu. We saw how to add and where to add a connection to a page or database, that is from the three dots right here from the connections menu. And finally, we went through the process of adding a connection from the developer portal that you have within your settings and members connections tab when you scroll all the way down here. And that is the overview of integrations and connections. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. For now, thank you for watching and see you soon.